Hi everyone, before we jump into today's video, which by the way, today's video is a pretty good one, so stay tuned. But before we jump into it, I just wanted to let you know that our mentoring group is going to be opening up, spots are gonna be opening up this Monday the 1st. So March 1st at 8 p.m. Eastern time, you'll be able to grab one of the mentoring spots and jump into the group. I'll leave a link to our website in the description of today's video where you can go and see more about the mentoring program and you can take a look at the pages and pages of testimonials. We've worked with over a thousand sellers at this point from all over the world, USA, UK, Australia. So again, if you are interested in grabbing a spot, March 1st, 8 p.m. Eastern time, jump on the website and get your spot. Good morning, guys and girls. Welcome to another video. I am back on the hunt. Um, I'm going to, I don't know if you guys remember, I've done two videos now on the same person. The first time was a garage sale they were having. I bought a bunch of NASCAR tees from him. And then the second time we went and I bought some more NASCAR tees and some hats. Well, he text messaged me again this morning. So I am heading out to him now to go and pick up some more stuff. Hopefully, hopefully I can do it again and uh, get some more good vintage stuff and make a profit. So I'm heading out there now, gonna do this deal and then I'll probably go thrifting the rest of the day, see if I can make a, a good video out of it and find some cool stuff. So come along for the ride. Please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button on the video if you like it. Should be a good day though, so let's go see what happens. Yo, what's up, man? What's up, man? Thank you, thank you. You find that out there? No, I paid up for this oh, one. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. my childhood. Two, two fifty. Ooh, I know. Bunch of hats. Bunch more t-shirts. Um, Nineteen t-shirts and eleven hats. So thirty pieces total. I mean, what you say? Want to go uh, two seventy-five? I'll be back like in a week. I was gonna say like two hundred. Um, how about 240? I'll meet you in the middle. 240. Cool, man. I appreciate it. I got you, man. I'm coming back here soon. Cool. This this stuff was a bit better than last time. Yeah. Because like the, some yeah, of the white was, Like I said, this was all stuck in that bag in his room. Okay. That's why I think it stayed yeah. like that. All right. So another deal in the books. Absolutely did it again. Uh, $240 spent on 30 pieces. So an average of $8 a piece. I'll show you guys everything a little bit later. I'm going to head up to the Goodwill. Um, it's about 10 minutes away from here and see if I can find anything else to flip online. But another solid, solid deal. 30 pieces, eight bucks a piece, some good stuff in there. A lot of dead stock, new with tag stuff, uh, some, some really cool hats too. So I'll show you everything that I bought later, but let's continue on with the day. Keep this momentum going. That looks like a vintage Toltex tag. Let's see what it is. Florida State University, really good vintage t-shirt in this one. Another vintage tag, all sport, three bucks. And we've got some cats, beach bums. A lot of the time these shirts have a back, so let's flip it over and see if there's a back on this one. Nope, not this time, but still a cool shirt, good size, I'll pick it up. Little Tommy Bahama Relax, 100% linen shirt. Good sell through on these. These are Cole Hawn brand, um, zero grand shoes. I've never seen these shoes before, but um, they look quality, $20 and they look brand new. So I'm gonna look them up. So I looked them up and I think we should be able to get between like 60 to $70 for them. So I am gonna buy them. I just found this really cool New York Knicks jersey, but it's $13 and it's a size medium. So if it was a bigger size, I'd pick it up, but because it's a medium, I am gonna leave it behind. I just pulled this brand new with tags, Adidas size medium messy jersey and the comps look pretty decent on it. So this one I will pick up. All right, couple of nice little pickups at the Goodwill. Can't complain about that. And there's one more thrift store down the road. So might as well, it's only like five minutes away. Might as well go hit it up, never pass the thrift. These I Survived the Hurricane shirts are actually pretty cool. The graphics are, are usually pretty nice on them. This one's Charlie 2004. They're not worth a lot, but they're cool shirts. And then I just found this Moon U, Moon University vintage shirt, Griffith Observatory. I don't know what it is, dated 91, but I don't know what this shirt is actually. Found a vintage Disney designs tag, $3, and we've got a big Mickey graphic. And this is a fairly large shirt. It's one of the one size shirts, but I would say it's like a 3X. I found this vintage giant tag t-shirt, um, but it's just like tie dye. There's nothing else on it. I don't know. I've never seen a giant t-shirt without any other like branding, like a, a band or anything on it. So I don't know if it's worth anything. Another cool vintage tag. This one is a Fruit of the Loom Best tag. Um, unfortunately, it just has this tarpon springs hit on the front. So not worth it. Just spotted a pair of Harley Davidson boots. Um, they look quality. They've got a lot of metal emblems on them. They have the Vibram soles and they're $17, but they look like they're in fair condition. And I know that Harley under the tongue has the model number. 
So I'll just type that in really quick and see if the comps are worth it. I almost walked past these shoes, but I went back and I'm glad I did. I knew these were vintage, but I had no idea what they were. So I looked them up and they're called Reebok Big Hurt from 1996. And these shoes actually have a really good resale value on eBay. So I think these are a size 11, a men's size 11. I think we should be able to get between like 130 to 160 dollars for this pair so honestly pretty successful day all around from the wholesale buy to the two thrift stores i mean i found great stuff at every stop so i'm pretty excited about those reebok shoes i think that was a total score i paid like 37 dollars total at that thrift store for the mickey shirt and the two pairs of shoes the harley davidson and the reebok and just on the reeboks i feel like you know easily 100 dollars plus so good day um, I'm gonna head home now and then I will flip through everything that I got in the wholesale lot so you can see what I bought for $240. And then that'll be the end of the video. So let's go home and go through this lot. All right, real quick, let's take a look at everything that I bought. Again, 30 pieces, $240 spent. Dead stock, Brickyard 400 t-shirts. Another dead stock Brickyard 400 t-shirts in white, 1994. Another one front and back on this one, 1995. Brickyard 400 again front and back. So these are all dead stock. Most of them have the tags. Some of them don't have the tags, but even the ones that don't have the tags are still brand new. This is a cool graphic. Another Brickyard 400 shirt, also new with tags. Another one, cool graphic. All of these are good sizes too. They're all like larges or extra larges. Really cool graphic on this 1995 Brickyard 400 front and back. So there were also some non-racing related t-shirts in here as well, like these dead stock Elvis Presley stamp t-shirts. Extra large dated 1992. Pretty cool graphic. I think there's two of these. Yeah, two of these, both brand new with tags. And then this is a really cool piece. This is a 1977 Elvis piece. 1977 dated at the bottom right there. It's one of those like iron on ones, but yeah, 1977 t-shirt. And then a theme park tee. Opryland Grizzly River Rampage. Really awesome graphic on that. And this one is on a screen star size large tag. Just a classic Chevrolet racing on the Toltex tag. New with tags, Dale Earnhardt shirt, front and back. Winston Cup Series 2000, front and back on the Delta tag. Competitors View tag, front and back. Another 2000 shirt. Same thing on this one, 2000 graphic, front and back. February 20th, 2000, Daytona 500 shirt. Again, front and back. And again, a good size, size large on this one. So this is a really cool shirt. It's Chad Little. Uh, it's on a Toltex tag, size large. Really cool graphic, front and back hit as well. And then my favorite graphic also on the Toltex tag, that uh, Corn Flakes graphic is just too good front and back. I believe this one is 1999. So that's the tees and then we'll go through the hats really quick. I'll just go through them really fast. A little vintage Coca-Cola hat. This one's awesome. It says ride the best America's finest. It reminds me of those like American Thunder shirts. So this one might be valuable. Daytona USA hats, Cummings Racing, Quaker State Racing. Nice little new with tags, Atlanta Olympics hat. Another vintage Coca-Cola hat, Budweiser Racing, Winston Cup hat. Another Winston Cup hat, new with tags. And then the vintage Tide NASCAR racing hat. So yeah, that is everything I scored today in that deal. Uh, let me know in the comments. Do you think it was a good buy for $240, $8 a piece? I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with this lot yet. The last two I lotted up, put on Instagram, and I wholesaled on, but on this one, I don't know. I might pick out a couple pieces and list them separately, but I'm not sure. But either way, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe for more. I'm sure there's gonna be more deals just like this. So thanks for watching. I'm Ryan Roots. Peace out, bye. Hey, just a quick update before I end the video, because I don't like to leave things unfinished. I like to tell you everything that happened. The Florida Seminoles vintage t-shirt I sold to Junkman Doug. Really cool guy, sells mostly FSU gear. Sold this t-shirt to him for $30 shipped. And then the NASCAR lot, I did decide to just lot up and move on quickly. I sold it for $525 shipped. Thanks again for watching everyone. See you in the next one, bye.